Welcome to my channel. This is Bliss Energy and a long time I haven't been on here to pull cards. Um, because when you open up your business and you deal in, you have multiple things going on, it takes away from the other. Okay, so not only am I an herbalist and um, I sell herbal products and make herbal medicine, I'm also a tarot card counselor as well. And I used to come on here all the time to pull cards, do daily readings. Um, so I'm going to try. I'm not going to say I'm going to come on here all the time, but I will try to make it my business to come on my channel at least and pull a daily message, you know, for the energy that we are in. OK, so right now, today is Halloween, October 31st. The moon is in Aquarius and the sun is in Scorpio. OK, so let's ask our spirit guides to give us a message for today okay on this spooky day right so let's go we asked to give us a message oh that was quick that was quick okay here we go forgiveness forgiveness and it is saying holding on to resentment and anger is prevent preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth recent re resentment excuse me resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotion the act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incapable incredible powerful and has the capability to heal and transform forgiveness we have to learn to forgive, not only from everybody else, but even yourself. Because a lot of times we hold and we hold a lot of resentment for the things that we've done in the past, for what people have done to us, and so on. Let it go. Because when you hold on to that, you can't grow. It keeps you stagnated and keep you locked in this box. And every time you see the situation, hear the situation, or be in the situation, it brings up that old wound. Okay? So learn to forgive yourself and others. Alright, so this starts to this starts the, the read. So let's keep it going, alright? So I'm gonna pull out several decks. Okay. So this one here is the, uh, I think it's the angel guide deck. So we're going to ask our spirits to keep coming and give us a message. What's the message we have for us? Okay. Okay, nothing in this deck. I'm going to do one more time and I'm going to move on to the next deck. Anything for us. Okay, let's move on. Nothing, a message wasn't in this deck for us. I will revisit it, okay? And this deck is... Uh, this deck, you know what? Actually, this deck is actually the Angel Guy Oracle deck. This deck that I just um, pulled from, that was the um, Keepers of the Light. So maybe that's why nothing came out because our miscommunication of the decks. So this is the Angel of Guides decks and we ask our spirits, can we get a message? Let me give it a shot. Let's do that again. Okay. Ooh, my light just went out on me. Okay, that's a sign. <laughs> that is definitely a sign. What is the message you have for us today? Okay, two flew out. Okay, let's get the message. The light goes out on me. That's a sign, okay? So let's go. We have two cards that came out. Transformation. Okay? Transformation. And we also have learning experience. So again, it brings us back to our original card that came out, which was forgiveness. 
the act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredible and powerful and has the capability to hear and transform. So the spirit is telling us we need to transform ourselves, okay? Because all of this is a learning experience. It's all a learning experience. We have to learn to stop taking things personal, okay? And let it go. Forgive yourself. Because transformation is here. Transformation, and it starts in your heart. Do you see the heart here? Okay? It starts with your heart. The word is love. Work off the love energy, the frequency of love. This will help us transform. Okay? And you guys ain't the only one going through this. I'm doing my own transformation too. I'm still healing some childhood wounds, relationship wounds. Okay? So we all transforming because healing is an ongoing journey here on earth. This is the school of earth where we're here to learn. Okay, so it's okay when you heal something up, heal one part of yourself, and then something up comes up which you thought that you had in control, and all of a sudden it's coming back in your face. And you're like, Oh no, I thought I took care of that. It's okay, continue to work on that healing process. Okay, let's go. We're gonna pull from the moon deck right now. And let me shuffle this way first. You yes, have to get a nice clear message. Okay. Clear message, please. That's the message for today. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So what do we have here? We have you're very close to achieving your goals. The gods and moon. Okay. Uh, absolutely, I agree with this. We are all on our way. Okay. You're very close to achieving your goals. Ashe, we will accept that. So we return back to this deck right here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We ask, are you ready to give us a message out of this deck? Let's go. Okay. We ask for a message out of this deck. If you have one for us, what is your message that you have for us? Okay. I guess not, ladies and gentlemen. All right. No messages for us in this deck. No messages for us in this deck. I should have put it down and kept it down the first time. All right. So now we go on to the angel oracle deck and we ask him, our spirits to come through and give us messages through this deck. Okay. Oh, okay. Anything else? Anything else? Let me do that again. Anything else? Okay, let's go. A man holding a coin. A man holding a coin. Okay, which is the number 43 card, which means seven divine okay prosperity is coming you see he's holding that money you see how this card came out number seven card is a 43 right which is seven when you add it up after you forgive yourself transformation learning from this experience you're very close into receiving very close in achieving your goals and then what we have the man is here with his coin in his hand. Okay, you know, I'm going to go to the book for this one. Let's read this and see what this is saying in the book, okay? 43, look at that. And I open up to the woman holding the coin, but it's actually the next page. So this is a male connection in money, health, or value. It came upright. This card shows a man sitting in a lush, lushly 
flowery veil holding a large bright coin. For men, this could indicate an aspect of yourself and a readiness to further your goals and receive inside health, money, or values in your life. Greatest success is on its way when you take control of your own finance and act. This card upright could also reveal the assistant of a finance advisor or a healer whom you already know or are soon to or are soon to meet. This man is helpful and, and may bring sage advice concerning the action the action you need to take next. Be open to this person showing up with support, but always turn to your own intuition guidance to weigh the information you receive. This card also cites this card also signifies a new love into, into a new love interest, excuse me, with a weevilly man or a man from work. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Finance. Getting it in order. An advisor. Help. Healing is here. Wow. This is very interesting. I'm going to ask you anything else from this deck that you want us to know. They're trying to still pop out though. Let's ask anything else. Anything else. Okay, one more time. Let me get out one more time. Anything you want us to know? Anything else from this deck? Okay. So since we got that card, I'm going to pull for my love deck. And where are you? Here you go. That was a man holding a card, coming with gifts to help, to exit, to assist. So we're gonna pull a love card too. That's good. And ask the spirits to come through, give us a message. Do you have a message for us? Containing love, relationship. So guys, I'm just only going to deal with cards for right now. Okay, <laughs> anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Worth waiting for. Okay, divine timing is at work in your love life. Ashe, Ashe, beautiful read. Forgive yourself, move on. Transformation is here, learning experience. You're close to achieving your goal. The man is here holding his coin for you. Okay, your prosperity is coming in. Good health is coming in. Okay, and it said it is worth the wait. Don't jump the gun. Okay, divine timing is at its work in your love life. Everything happens in divine timing. Everything happens that way. But first you have to learn how to forgive yourself. Because holding on to resentment, as the cards say, is not gonna you're not gonna move along in your life. Okay? So I'm telling you just pull from the tarot deck too. Let's give the tarot deck. Any any additional information on the cards? Hold on, look at these cards, right? Any additional information or any one of these cards? Any additional message for us? Let's see. All right. Any additional message? Mm -mm. I think that's it. I think we are good here. So I'm going to end it here. Yes. Let's end it here. And... I will see you guys again. Maybe I'll do signs, you know, like a zodiac sign for the day or just a general reading. So whoever pops up on my channel, y'all can see if the message is for you, okay? Well, if you're here, then the message is for you, okay? So guys, you take care and we will talk again. Peace.